Today I'm going to go over the basics of making a cold frame. Where I sit right now is where the plant's going to go. Today I'm just sinking in the anchors. Some of the necessary tools that you need are valve to pound the PVC pipe in, a tape measure to make sure everything is square, inch and a quarter PVC pipe cut to three feet and four inches to supply your anchors, and a basic layout and setup here. You can see that I still have my cover crop in the ground, so the ground is still a little too wet to till, but I'm going through and at least prepping the area. To ensure everything is square, I go through and I pre-build my doors to the cold frame. So this will come up here and seal the cold frame up. But what this does is sets the distance that I put my two anchors at. The green stake represents where the plant's going to go. The two end stakes here represent the edges. This is five foot wide, half inch PVC with 10 foot making the arch. It's connected with T or 90 degrees connectors. The greenhouse grade 6 mil plastic is attached uh, with clips and secured with zip ties. So I lay this on the ground knowing this is going to be my door, my fixed point. And as you can see, one acre here, one acre here. That sets the approximate five foot width to my cold frame. Once that's marked, you can see I then move the door to the other side to ensure everything is square. I then use my tape measure to measure out every three feet put an anchor in. My cold frames are approximately five feet by nine feet long. So every three feet, I take one of the anchors, the inch and a quarter. It's cut to three feet, four inches because it allows me to get three per every 10 foot length, which is coming standard. I then go ahead and I mark a small mark halfway through, and that is how deep these are in the ground. That offers enough rigidity and structure to support the arch. Now you can see as I work the last anchor in, the soil's pretty soft, able to go in pretty well. I'm watching the line that I go down to, which is halfway. Matches the other side, you can see my door here. And I use three quarter inch PVC pipe, 10 foot length, one in one side, arch over the other, push it down, you get it nice and stable, and ultimately the door will match up against there. And you do it for all the rest, and that's what creates the cold frame. It shows the final setup of the cold frame with the door up and the three quarter inch 10 foot PVC pipe in put into both anchors. I then go through and cut six mil greenhouse grade plastic because these are 10 feet. I cut the plastic approximately 12 to 13 feet to allow me to tuck in some plastic at the bottom with the soil to hold it together. The plastic clips are used to give it its uh, initial shape the soil on the sides, anchor it down. And then this is the door that I showed earlier. And what I do is I have it be able to open halfway. So on a warm day like today, simply allowing that to fold down, heat rises, and that will allow the uh, hottest air to escape out. But still maintain wind protection and an elevated temperature on the inside for the plant.